We got Eric Muniz taking on Felipe Costa. Eric in the blue gi. Felipe in the white gi. Eric having quite the campaign here at the 2023 Pans. He's going to be in the open class final later against Nicholas Marigali. He's had a bunch of submissions this weekend. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of buzz about Felipe Costa from uh, different people in the community. And I was watching his match earlier on. Very exciting, very aggressive competitor. He's got a great support system, six play jiu jitsu. He's got Victor Hugo in his corner. Uh, of course, uh, Shanji Ribeiro, many others, Rafael Lovato, a six blade, uh, six blades association. Big shout out to Shanji Ribeiro. But uh, he's got his hands full with Eric Muniz here. Eric pulling nice close guard star right pull away. by Eric. Gets that grip on the pants. Now he's got that far side sleeve grip. Looks like he's going to try to elevate Felipe. Pummels his leg inside, goes to the single leg X. See if Eric tries to come up and score an early two in this match. Yeah, there it is. Retracts his legs, get to the top. Felipe trying to suck that leg back up into 50-50. Eric Two not having it, though. Oh, and it slips to the outside. Eric's got a little bit of a more aggressive pace in this match. I don't know if you noticed that, Danny. Yeah, he's moving a bit faster with a bit yeah. more intention. And he is up to just over a minute into this super heavyweight final here at the 2023 Pans. Eric pulls guard once again. Gets to the lasso position. Yeah, this is uh, Eric's domain here. As I mentioned earlier, when he starts playing lasso, he starts playing Delhiva, mixing up his guard positions. He's just so methodical and so effective at them. Yeah, these are the positions where Eric really shines. He is leading this match, like you said. Seems to be picking up the pace, moving with a bit more intention and intensity in the Super Heavy Final. Paulo Berlin, Rosanel Sosa, Yerne Agosto, Lucas Carat, Demetrius Sosa. Lots of submissions this weekend for Eric Muniz. What's really impressive to me is, is when Eric wants to elevate his opponent, he's doing it. He's got so much strength in those legs. Just chopping down that second leg. Gets to the top position. Nice job. Pass Pass right, away. right after the sweep. He's in the leg drag position. Beautiful way to connect the sweep right into a guard pass. Eric Muniz keeping the hips elevated of Felipe Costa. Eric is definitely on the attack here. Looking for a submission. Looks like he's going to go for that Ezekiel. Feeding that grip through. He's going to try to free this left leg. And I think we're going to see Eric go for that Ezekiel. He was reaching for it earlier. He's got his left hand deep around the neck. Frees his left leg. Let's see if he tries to grab his sleeve grip with his right hand. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, Eric is trying to get this done fast. He's got another match coming up later against Nicholas Marigali, who's right next to us, looking on and studying his opponent here, getting yeah, ready think, for their final. I think he wants a finish in this one, for sure. He's been trying to finish all his matches all weekend. Eric has a significant point lead right now, up 7-0, less than four minutes into this super heavyweight final against Felipe Costa of Six Blades. Nice recovery by Felipe. We'll see if he can get back to some sort of a solid guard position because Eric is keeping the pressure forward.
Eric frees his legs. Trying to pass the guard again, switching sides. Nice little invert by Felipe Costa trying to get back up on top. Trying to make up some of this point differential. Five minutes left in this match, just over five minutes left. Felipe does get two points for the sweep. Felipe trying to stack, putting the pressure on Eric Muniz. Just about halfway through the super heavyweight final here at the 2023 Pans. Eric Muniz on bottom, up seven to two over Felipe Costa. Felipe doing a good job freeing his legs, but very difficult to escape yeah. the control of Eric Muniz, especially when he's got this lasso. Made a lot of movement, but just was not effective with it to break any grips or make any progress there. Beautiful nice sweep, sweep there by, by Eric Muniz. Beautiful okay. stuff. Foot in the bicep, rotation there. Four minutes left. Eric Muniz on top. Up nine points to two. And Eric will be in the open class final coming up later today against Nicholas Marigali. Both these guys have looked incredible here at the 2023 Pens. Muniz has multiple submissions. Nicholas has all submissions, 100% submission rate so far. Eric defeated Paulo Merlin to advance to this final match. Felipe Costa defeated Davi Cabral. And they're going to get reset back in the center. Eric's guard, known as one of the most dangerous in this division. There he goes for that handstand guard pull again, Ricardo. <laughs> pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Eric Muniz on bottom. Felipe Costa trying to work a double under guard pass. Three minutes left in this super heavy final. And they're gonna get reset back into the center of the mat once again. As Eric Muniz tries to win another pan title, this time in the super heavy division. Eric with the lasso grip. Felipe trying to shut it down with his left knee forward. Nice little triangle attempt by Eric Muniz. Felipe postures out. Another beautiful sweep by Eric Muniz. He does such a good job tilting his opponents to the side when he's got that foot on the bicep. Felipe trying to counter with the single leg X. We talked about this earlier, very hard to stretch Eric yeah. Muniz out when you're underneath his hips with the single leg X. He's just so tall. At the end of your extension is when you're at your weakest and that's when Eric will just step right out. There he goes with that back step pass. Nice stuff from Eric Muniz getting to the half guard position. Two minutes left, he is up big. 11 points to two. Very impressed with uh, Felipe Silva. He's been doing a great job. Uh, you know, newcomer in the black belt scene. As I said, a lot of people were talking about this young man, and he's definitely showing us why as he's uh, doing a great job against Eric Muniz. But Eric Muniz up 11-2 to two right now 
absolutely dominating. Trying to feed that lapel grip. Felipe able to get that knee shield in front of Eric. I wonder if he's going to go for that Bravo choke that we saw earlier on. Yeah, the one where he rolled to his back. Here we go. Freeze his legs. Let's see if we can see a quick guard pass attempt. Felipe able to get to some sort of guard position and tangle Eric a little bit. Eric now. We've seen him do this quite a bit today, too. That cross pan grip. Near side grip on the collar. Forces Felipe to turtle. One minute left in this super heavy final between Eric Muniz. Nice back take attempt by Eric Muniz. Steps to the side. Beautiful transition right there by Eric Muniz. Now he's got the seatbelt on Felipe Costa. Under a minute left. We'll see if Eric can get the finish in this one. He's also going to be in the open class final. Nice little oh, transition. Tried stepped. to go for the armbar. Yeah, I almost spun over the back for the armbar. Eric now he's going for the Ezekiel. That looks tight. He is putting some pressure into that. Let's see if he can get the submission. Tight grip. He's adjusting his hooks. Gets the tap. Eric Muniz. Beautiful submission finish. Those transitions to the back were unbelievable. Yeah, something lit a fire under the butt of Eric Muniz before this match. I think he really, really wanted to show everyone uh, what he's capable of. We all know that he's a very talented competitor. I think there was some criticism maybe in his last world's performance, but in this event, he looked awesome. And I think this is the best Eric Muniz we've seen for quite some time. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for this young man. I believe that was his fourth submission of the weekend. Yeah. That was a beautiful Ezekiel choke finish, as we mentioned. Just some awesome transitions to the back. Eric Muniz looking great. Cannot wait to see him in the open class final later today against Nicholas Marigali, who's had all submissions this weekend. Great stuff from the Dream Art black belt. And your 2023 male super heavyweight champion is... Eric Muniz, representing Dream Art. Eric Muniz, your 2023 Super Heavyweight Champion at the Pans. We're going to take a look at uh, a replay here in just a few seconds. Beautiful sweep attempt by Felipe Silva. Felipe Costa, sorry. Eric Muniz with that sweep and then pass attempt right away that foot of the bicep sweep over and over again today and a couple of those really yep. nice timing on those just stretches the opponent out jumps to the back nice little back take and right to like an x pass as i said this is the best eric Muniz we've seen in quite some time this was awesome yeah this is the best eric Muniz i think we've seen ever going for the submission resets the hooks gets the ezekiel finish over a tough felipe costa of six blades jiu-jitsu congratulations to eric Muniz collects another Pan's gold medal. Paulo Berlin.